transformations. This is when we take a geometric shape and we somehow manipulate it or move it. Um, so what I did is I cut out a random shape. It means absolutely nothing. It is just a shape. Let's go ahead and put it up here with a magnet. And the first type of transformation is called a translation. A translation. You're going to translate it. That simply means sliding it one direction or another. Okay. So I cut out another shape exactly the same. Okay. If I wanted to do a translation, it simply means I am going to move it over some amount of units. Or I might move it down. I'm translating it in a certain direction. I could do it diagonally, um, which really means going one direction, then another direction. That is called a translation. Okay. Now, a rotation, rotate. You kind of think of a circle, like your tires rotate, a merry-go-round rotates, a Ferris wheel uh, rotates. So what it does is it, we have a point, like a focus point, a point of rotation. And what we do is we need to think that it is imaginary tied to that point. Okay? And then we are going to spin it kind of like a bike tire. We're going to spin it around. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, we're going to pretend that it is still attached, and it's just going to rotate around here. So it could be that we need to just think about if it's still attached to that center point. We didn't, we didn't move it in any direction this way. We simply rotated it around this circle. That is a rotation. We can go any number of degrees around a circle, like that. Okay. And the last type of transformation is called a reflection. A reflection. So it's kind of like when you're looking in the mirror, it reflects back at you. It kind of does the same thing. You right, raise your, your left hand, and the reflection raises the, the hand that's right in front of it kind of like a shape. What we do is we have a special line. This is called a line of reflection. And what it does is we pretend this is our mirror. And what the shape does is it flips right across that line so that it is kind of, for lack of better words, backwards. Okay. You can see how it's the same distance from that line of reflection. Now, you can have any number of lines of reflection. Here's this for a second. You could have a line of reflection up here. And when we take this and we reflect it over, we would, we would see that it just inverts itself or turns itself upside down. You could do it below. You can do it on any angle. If you had a line of reflection right here, it would be a little bit more complicated to do but it would flip over and look something like that. So those are three transformations, translations, rotations, and reflections.